Hi there, my name is Arthur Zhang, and I am a part of the Livingston High School chapter of FBI. I recently placed third nationally in the Introduction to Financial Math Test for FBI. Today, I am here to tell you how to succeed in Introduction to Financial Math. Let's start by explaining what exactly is Introduction to Financial Math. Introduction to Financial Math is an event that tests your fluency in basic math concepts, as well as their applications in business and everyday life. You may be asked to find the selling price after a series of discounts, interpret data sets, or calculate simple interests. Well, who should take this event? I suggest anyone that has a strong math background and has interest in how you can apply math into realistic scenarios to give this competitive event a shot. Looking at the competencies list on the FBLA website can give you a great impression of what will be on the test during the event. So, how do you succeed in the event? From my experience in the event, the math is not hard. Math-wise, most of the concepts are pretty easy, maxing out at around Algebra 1 level. I find that there are many questions that just ask you to divide a fraction or multiply some numbers, at least more than there should be. Easy, right? The only concepts above maybe Algebra 1 level that are tested on is interest. So I suggest studying interest if you haven't been exposed to it in math class yet. It requires some manipulating of exponents. The test itself asks you to answer a series of 100 questions in 60 minutes. So the hard part of the event is to answer the questions quickly while minimizing careless mistakes. You will be provided with a calculator during the test, which is definitely helpful in doing some of the math on the test. As all people taking the test are already strong math students, what differentiates the good score from the excellent score are the participants' knowledge of financial terms. You should be able to understand different financial terms and distinguish between them, like knowing how to calculate the selling price with a chain discount versus calculating selling price with a cash or trade discount. I find that to study financial terms and concepts, the rest resource by far is Quizlet. Many passionate students have already made Quizlets for introduction to financial math. And I suggest just going through the Quizlets and looking at, and using the term feature on Quizlet to master the concepts. After mastering a couple of Quizlets or so, I suggest looking at the practice test. A simple Google search can grant you access to many practice tests. And I find that even searching on Reddit can pull up one or two master lists on resources and practice tests. Similar to preparing for the SAT, sometimes the best method to practice is just to grind practice tests. Once you go through a practice test, compare it with the key. And if you get anything wrong, Study the overarching concept to gain mastery of it, so you don't make the same mistake on the real test. Just put in the concept through Google and clicking on several of the first links, as they are more reputable, should be good enough. And above all, I suggest looking at the BMA FBLA, BME FBLA videos. They are made by students like you who have achieved success in competitive events. They are also focused on a single topic, so if you know what you need to improve on, maybe by taking the practice test first, just try to find the BME FBLA video for that topic. And it is important that before the test, do not stress. I can't stress this enough. I believe going into the test with the great mindset is the best setup for success. Know that you studied hard for the event and the studying is absolutely going to pay off in the end. I encourage anyone watching this video to give Introduction to Financial Math a shot, and good luck to all FBLA competitors. I know you guys can do this. Thank you.